Oh, Nick Keeley's just phoning me. Bloody brilliant. Well, Cancel it. Nick Keeley, just deal with him, please, Tony. That'd be very helpful. Well, I could. Oh, his phone's inside. Do you want my phone? <laughs> Does he not know? Does he not know that I'm about to go live on from nature? I'm filming, by the way. <laughs> yeah, but it's not. Oh, um, just leave it. Just wait. You wait, won't you? Wait ten three, minutes. Three, two, one, go. We just want to start today's session with a big thanks to Joe Wicks for helping to keep the nation fit and active at this strange time. Hi, I'm John and I'm from Chilton Rangers. We'd like to welcome you here to Kingsmead in High Wycombe. It's a beautiful sunny day and we've got to give real big thanks for the fact that we can still enjoy being outside in the blue sky and sunshine. Um, we're here in High Wycombe. Um, wherever you're watching this from, I hope you're having a really good morning so far. I hope the homeschooling's going well. Kids, you having fun with mums and dads? Yay! Yay! Let's hope so too. <laughs> we just wanted to show our support to everybody who's facing these times with the real British spirit, chin up in the face of adversity, keep calm, carry on, and all of those fantastic phrases, never before have we needed them more than now. So what can we do about it? The advice is pretty clear. It's still okay to come outside to a park like this. This is Kingsmead Wreck in High Wycombe, just off the A40, and enjoy the great outdoors. Over my shoulder, you can see a laid hedge. Fantastic for wildlife, a corridor for life. But also behind the hedge is a path. You can stick to the path, you can walk through the recreation ground at safe distance from other people. Really important everybody, our two metre spacings, our social distancing, really important. And obviously when you go home, make sure you wash your hands. So, look after each other, follow the messages from government. At the moment, we're telling you it's fine to go outside because that's what they're telling us, as long as we maintain our distances. And that's the real basic stuff here. So what else can we do? Well, this is the great thing. There's so much we can do outdoors with nature to enjoy it and to get some real cool inspiration from it. In a little while, you're gonna hear from one of my colleagues, also a John, on some of the fantastic literature that can inspire you about nature. For now, I want to challenge you, after you've heard from us, you can go to your garden or a local green space, a woodland, wherever works for you. We just sit and stand, enjoy the sunshine, and we're gonna listen. And in one minute, can you count as many different sounds as possible? Different birds, you don't have to identify them, we're not looking for perfection. How many different birds? How many natural sounds? All these things you can listen for. Ready, steady, go. Listening games like these give us five minutes, two minutes, time just to take deep breaths, notice and connect with nature. We're not after perfection, that's not what this is about. We want you to have great fun. Make a list, do it every day. Can you beat yesterday's total? All these things you can do as part of your homeschooling. For now, I'm gonna stop talking. You'll be delighted to hear that. All I'm gonna tell you is that there's lots of sites that are, that are still open to the public. You can go to our website, go to www.chilternrangers.co.uk. Find out where we work, and if it's a, a Wickham District Council Chiltern Rangers site, then we've got lots of information that you can download. We've got a series of leaflets, just like this. All of those you can download, or if you prefer, email us on info at chilternrangers.co.uk give us your details and we'll send you a pack in the post and as soon as you can you can go out and you can explore the great outdoors 
and these leaflets give you the maps with all the paths on and give you some stuff to do on the back. For now, it's over to John. So, hello everyone, I'm John, uh, I'm a ranger and also work as a community ranger in Marsh and Micklefield. You may have seen me out and about planting trees and wildflowers. One of the best bits of my job though is teaching forest school, which I've been doing a lot recently. Um, we often start forest school with a bit of a safety briefing. And given what's going on at the moment, we thought we'd do this in a forest school way. So I don't have my fantastic Kingswood Year 2 and Year 4 to help with this. They've been brilliant and they really understand this and if they can, we all can. So here's a bit of a demonstration. So, is this safe? No! no. How about that? Yes. yes! What a getting there. Closer. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, John. That is what we think of as safe working distance. But for the moment, we're thinking of it as safe walking distance. SWD. Safe walking distance. So, as John was saying, you can go out, you can explore, but remember, you need to stay safe and stay two lockers lengths apart and that will be your safe walking distance now nature is amazing it's provided happiness joy sanctuary for millions of people and it can be from the smallest thing like a wood louse up to the big things that we see like red kites it can provide so much inspiration for art, music, literature, stories and poems. It fires the imagination, it keeps the soul going. And if you can go outside, do. But you can also find nature in your gardens, on the pavements, in green spaces, maybe on your windowsill. Try growing seeds, see what happens. Look, look at insects, look at butterflies. There are fewer cars about on the roads now. Open your windows, listen to the birds. It's beautiful. So, as I was saying, it's provided inspiration for so many people. And one of the best books we use in forest school, and it's one of my favourite books, is this. Lost Words, Robert McFarlane, Jackie Morris. And this is based on, a few years ago, a very popular dictionary used in schools removed loads of words to do with nature, which is really, really sad. It's things like acorn, conquer, kingfisher. Really sad. But this is such a beautiful book that's provided me with so many sort of happy moments. And it talks about things that are often really simple, overlooked, that are part of our daily experiences of nature. So I'm just going to read dandelion because we all know what dandelions are out and about we see loads of them so dazzle me little son of the grass and spin me tiny time machine tick tock sun clock thistle and dock now no longer known as don de leon lion's tooth or wind blow tick tock sun clock nettle and dock evening glow milk witch or parachute so let new names take and root, thrive and grow. Tick tock, sun clock, rattle and dock. I would make you some, such as bane of lawn perfectionists, or fallen star of the football pitch, or scatter seed. But never would I call you only, merely, simply weed. Tick tock, sun clock, clover and dock. So those are all fantastic names for dandelion. And as John was saying, you don't need to know the names of everything. You can go out, explore, look at things. If you don't know what they are, make up your own name for them. In forest school, I had a girl sitting under a tree. Didn't know what the tree was. Was just looking up. So I said, what do you think this is? She didn't know, and that's fine, it doesn't matter. 
So we said, well, what would you call it? And she looked up and she said, tiny white, high up flowers, smiling at the sky. And it was cherry blossom. And her words for it were just beautiful. So go out, have a look, make up your own names for things. Send them into us. Maybe you've been inspired to write a little poem. Send it into us, we can put it up on our website. So that's it from me today. Keep an eye out for us. Tune in tomorrow. One of my colleagues will be showing you how to make something that's great for you and perfect for nature. So thanks for listening and see you soon.